Physique Assessment. The question our expert panel addresses is, how do you assess skeletal size, shape and bone mineral density? Associate Professor Gary Slater. The techniques I use for being able to assess uh, these variables are really impacted by the particular variable I'm interested in. If it's skeletal size and shape, we might be using surface anthropometry so we can start to get an indication of bone breadth, length of bones for example, which can be particularly pertinent when we're looking at things like biomechanical efficiency. You can imagine that in the swim technique or a kayaker or a rower. If it's about bone mineral density, then we'll be using DEXA as a reference method for being able to assess that. Dr. Kagan Ducker. So something like bone mineral density, we tend to use something like DEXA, which was really uh, almost invented for the purpose of assessing bone health and bone mineral density. Something like uh, skeletal shape uh, and length, things like that, we tend to use um, surface anthropometry, better look at things like how long the bones are, what are the breadth of those bones and things like that. Professor Tim Ackland. So we typically use anthropometry for measuring um, skeletal size. Uh, for the shape, we would use MRI or CT scanning. And of course, for density, we would use the DEXA scan. Associate Professor Masaharu Kagawa. Skeletal size can be measured by um, using uh, bone breath uh, measurement techniques uh, using sliding bone calipers um, and also I can use a uh, sigmometer um, to uh, measure those uh, but also I can use other technique uh, such as uh, DEXA to determine bone mineral content, bone mineral density and also bone, um, bone size as well. For further information on physique assessment See our book, Best Practice Protocols for Physique Assessment in Sport, published by Springer.